While you quietly wept over finding out that alien signal really came from Earth, you may have missed dominoes you're gonna wanna see and hacking pesticides to make them stick. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where I'm about to use my tractor driving experience to school you on crop farming. All summer I pretty much worked with my eyes, showed sheep and cattle. Those are my people. Unless you're living under a rock, you know people kind of frown on pesticides for a couple reasons, mostly related to bee death and human health side effects. But they're sprayed on every damn crop anyway, and sometimes for good reason, like killing the jerks trying to eat your tomatoes. However, the majority of it usually ends up as runoff in rivers, probably causing cancer in babies, and Aaron Brogovich can't be everywhere. My work, my sweat, my time away from my kids, if that's not personal, I don't know what is. That is why MIT researchers created a kind of pesticide that is more likely to stick to what it's sprayed on. The freaking geniuses divided the regular spray into two portions, then gave one a negative charged polymer additive and the other positive. When they're sprayed on the same leaf, the drops attract each other and hey presto, the stuff actually stays where it's supposed to. This theoretically way reduces runoff pollution, probably that gross algae in lakes near conventional farming, and even better, Julia Roberts gets to stay home with her twins. Wins all around. It also means farmers get to use a full 90% less product for the same effect. And that sound was Monsanto and the rest of them raising prices now. And finally, if you are into old school Super Mario World, you'll probably love this long domino video that uses more than 81,000 pieces to achieve pure perfection. My only change would have been Bowser in turtle soup at the end. 